What's up everyone, it's your name back with another video, and today we're diving deep into the world of open source intelligence, OSINT for short. We're talking about the top 10 OSINT tools you need to know in Kali Linux 2025. So buckle up, grab your Kali VM, and let's get started. First up, we have Maltego, and let me tell you, this is a beast of a tool. Imagine this, you enter a target could be a website, an email address, a username, whatever, and Maltego goes to work. It's like unleashing a pack of digital bloodhounds, sniffing out connections and relationships you wouldn't believe. Maltego excels at visualizing this data, so you're not just staring at lines of code, you're seeing the big picture unfold before your eyes. You start connecting the dots, and suddenly you're seeing patterns, identifying key players, and uncovering the story behind the data. Just remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Always use your OSINT skills for good. Next up, we have the Harvester. And this tool is all about gathering information related to our target. Think email addresses, usernames, subdomains, and even IP addresses. The Harvester scours the web for these juicy bits of data. It's a command line tool, so it might seem a bit intimidating at first, but trust me, it's very straightforward to use. You simply feed it a domain name or a company name, and it does the rest. It queries a wide range of public sources like search engines, PGP key servers, and even social media platforms to build its intelligence profile. The Harvester can help you identify potential attack vectors by uncovering subdomains that might be overlooked or forgotten. Moving on, we have Recon Eng, and this tool is all about taking your reconnaissance to the next level. Recon Eng operates on a modular framework, meaning you can add or remove functionality depending on your needs. And with the 2025 update, you're getting access to a whole new arsenal of modules designed to extract even more information from your targets. We're talking about modules for everything from DNS enumeration, geolocation, social media analysis, and vulnerability scanning. Recon Eng 2025 also boasts a redesigned interface that's more intuitive and user-friendly. You can now create complex scripts to automate your reconnaissance workflows, saving you time and effort. Chapter 4, Spiderfoot Weaving Your Web of Intelligence. Up next is Spiderfoot, and this tool is all about automation. It's designed to save you time and effort by automating the tedious process of data collection and analysis. If you're tired of manually piecing together information from multiple sources, Spiderfoot is here to make your life a whole lot easier. Imagine not having to switch between countless tabs and documents. You give it a starting point, a domain name, an IP address, even a person's name, and Spiderfoot spins its web, connecting the dots and uncovering relationships you might have missed. It's like having a digital detective at your fingertips. It has a user-friendly web interface, that makes it incredibly easy to configure and launch scans. You don't need to be a tech wizard to get it up and running. Spiderfoot comes preloaded with over 100 modules that allow it to gather information from a vast array of sources. These modules cover everything from social media profiles to public databases. It correlates the information it finds, identifies patterns, and presents it in an easy to understand format. This means you can quickly make sense of complex data and take action based on solid intelligence. Chapter 5. Shodan, the Internet's Search Engine of Things. Let's talk about Shodan, often referred to as the scariest search engine on the Internet. For security researchers and ethical hackers, Shodan is an invaluable tool. Imagine this, you could scan the entire Internet for specific devices, services, or even vulnerabilities. That's what Shodan does. It's a search engine that indexes not websites, but devices connected to the internet. You can use Shodan to search for devices running a specific software version or with a particular port open. Shodan's power goes beyond just finding devices. It can also give you insights into the security posture of entire organizations. Chapter 6, Senses, Unveiling the Internet's Fingerprint. Now, if Shodan is the internet search engine, Consider Census its sophisticated cousin. Census, like Shodan, scans the internet for exposed devices and services, but it takes things a step further with its in-depth analysis and data visualization capabilities. You're not just getting a list of IP addresses and ports, you're getting detailed information about the services running on those ports. 
the software versions, the certificates used, and even the network paths. Census excels at historical data analysis, maintaining a vast database of historical scan data, allowing you to track changes over time. You can generate interactive maps, graphs, and charts to help you understand complex relationships and identify patterns in the data. Chapter 7. FOCA Exposing Metadata Secrets Let's dive into the world of metadata with FOCA, a tool that specializes in extracting hidden information from documents and files. Metadata is often overlooked, but it can reveal a lot about the origins and history of a document. Think about this. You download a PDF report from a company's website. It seems like just another document, but there's more than meets the eye. What you see is the text and images, but hidden beneath the surface is a treasure trove of metadata. This metadata can include a variety of details that are not immediately visible. FOCA can uncover details like the author's name, which can be crucial in understanding the document's origin. The software used to create the document, giving insights into the tools and technologies employed, the operating system it was created on, which can sometimes indicate the environment in which the document was produced, and even the network location where it was saved. This can be particularly useful in tracing the document's journey. FOCA can help you extract this information from publicly available documents, making it a powerful tool for researchers and investigators. Or maybe you're trying to verify the authenticity of a document. Metadata can be a key factor in determining whether a document is genuine or not. FOCA can help you identify inconsistencies in the metadata that might indicate tampering or forgery. This makes it an invaluable tool in the fight against document fraud. Chapter 8, Metagoofle Unearthing Google's Hidden Gems. Next up, we have Metagoofle, a tool that focuses on extracting metadata from publicly available documents. This powerful tool is designed to dig deep into the vast ocean of information available on the internet, specifically targeting files that are indexed by Google. But unlike FOCA, which is more of a general purpose metadata extractor, Metagoofle specifically targets files indexed by Google. This makes it incredibly useful for those who need to gather detailed information from documents that are often overlooked by other tools. Metagoofil can help you find these documents and extract metadata like usernames, software versions, email addresses, and even internal server paths. This can be particularly useful for cybersecurity professionals who need to understand the infrastructure of a target organization. Or maybe you're trying to track down the origin of a leaked document. Metagoofil can be an invaluable tool in such investigations, providing insights that are not easily obtainable through other means. Metagoofil can help you identify the author, the organization the document belongs to, and other details that can help you trace it back to its source. This level of detail can be crucial in legal cases or internal investigations. It uses advanced techniques to dig deep into Google's index and uncover files that might not show up in regular search results. This makes Metagoofil a hidden gem for anyone looking to unearth valuable information from the depths of the internet. Chapter 9, OSINT Framework, your OSINT Command Center. Now, if you're serious about OSINT, the OSINT Framework is not just a tool. It's an essential resource. It's a web application that acts as your central hub for all things OSINT, providing a structured methodology for conducting investigations and a wealth of resources to aid you along the way. Think of it as a massive curated directory of OSINT tools, techniques, and resources, all organized by category and purpose. The community is constantly updating it with new tools, techniques, and resources, ensuring that you always have access to the latest and greatest in the world of OSINT. Chapter 10, Google Dorks, Unlocking Google's True Potential. Finally, we can't talk about OSINT without mentioning Google Dorks. These aren't your average Google searches. These are specialized search queries that use advanced operators to uncover hidden information within Google's vast index. With Google Dorks, you can find things like exposed login pages, sensitive documents indexed accidentally, directories with open file listings, and even specific file types containing sensitive information. Once you master the art of Google Dorking, you'll be amazed at what you can find. There are tons of resources available online to help you get started with Google Dorking. So there you have it, our top 10 OOSINT tools in Kali Linux 2025. 
Remember, these tools are incredibly powerful, so always use them ethically and responsibly. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more cybersecurity content, and let me know in the comments which awesome tool is your favorite or if we missed any. Until next time, stay safe and keep hacking.